Hey, what's up? Uh, this is a brief video uh, about my one interesting project. This is the LCR meter. Um, amazing device. Uh, helped me a lot with the different projects. And uh, I using it probably last 10 years. It's very old, but still very useful and working great. Um, so this device doesn't have the interface actually it's equipped with some optical interface but it's a little bit crazy to connect it to find the uh, cable which is very expensive and uh, I decide to integrate the interface inside of this device so I drill it some hole here put it inside the um, some small adapter PCB, it's a USB to TTL and additionally I installed the two LEDs which is indicating the status one it's indicating the uh, link connection and another one it's a transmission so let's turn on and see how it's working here already I have the prepared the USB-C cable so let's plug in it the computer uh, already detected the interface and uh, installed the driver. So let me turn off the light probably. Next one. Let's launch the software. And uh, most interesting, this window. All right. Um, and connect. Last final step, we need to activate a computer link from the meter. So, it's still fully optical isolated. Later I will show you the photo. And uh, it's really cool because green LED telling you we are connected to the computer and we can disconnect it. And it's dark. <laughs> Red LED indicating uh, that the LCR meter send in the data to the port. We can turn off it, of course. Nothing. So let's turn on it again. See here we have the uh, information on the display, which is telling is the port active or not. Okay, and uh, again, software. What is the goal of all of this? Um, well, first of all, it's uh, it's providing much more information and the a slightly more accurate information because, like you can see, how many numbers we have here, and. Uh, Slightly more we can get over there. Um, also, we can we can let's check capacity of the resistor, <laughs> and that's cool because you you can immediately see a lot of the parameters on the screen uh, for design for selection. Uh, that's really cool to have all of this table. Or let's see, I have the capacitor. Where is the. Um, oh, okay. Um, let's try this capacitor. Okay, much better. Oh, too much, okay. Okay, 1 kilohertz is okay. Let's try 10. Oh, too much, okay. Let's use one. All right. Uh, now this is electrolytic capacitor, and you can see here is the. Oh, let's let's reset the data on the computer. Okay, here is we see uh, 937 microfarad, but here is 937.8, which is a little bit more. And in this window, we have average. 
I don't know how it's accurate and how precise. Anyway, good to know, like relative measurement. Immediately, you can see all of these parameters, which is really cool. Again, for design, for the selection, uh, for the proper selection of the components, unbelievable cool. Um, another part, software giving you something like um, different tables with the measurements. And like I understood, you can convert it to the Excel file and if you need it. Uh, third one and last one, this graphic, like I understood, it's only for selection of the component, not for measurement, which is ah, so sad because if, if we can use this graphic for tuning or different components or different circuits, that's going to be great, but probably no. Anyway, uh, this window is telling a lot about component. And it's a very helpful again and again. And now let's switch the picture to another one and see on this, in this moment, uh, you can see how I did it. Uh, just the PCB was just directly soldered it to the plastic and uh, nothing more and just drill it holes. And with the file, I added, create a proper shape of the hole. And on this picture later, I add the two LEDs uh, for indication of the connection status and transmitting status. Uh, because the software is a little, little bit glitchy and uh, requires some attention sometime, I don't know why. The LED helping a lot uh, to understand, okay, do you have link with computer or not? And the, is your LCR meter transmitting some information or not? Well, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Hope this uh, project and this idea was interesting for you. And um, see you next time. 73.